What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Tara Tarot. Back at it again. Gonna hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are greatly appreciated. Speaking of love donations, y'all look what Amanda C. sent us. I'm so excited about this villain's deck. Thank you so much, girlfriend. Um, yeah, we're going to be reading with that one today. Um, I am currently accepting personals in this time. If you're wanting to book with me, the only way to book with me is on my Etsy spiritual shop. All the information is listed in the description box below, along with our Patreon. Um, there's three tiers. The first tier is general reading. The second tier is um, Bell's Book of Shadows and the extended and general messages. And then the third tier is where you get your personal 10-minute reading. Um, make sure to send a message through Patreon with your name, your birthday, and the topic that you're wanting us to look into or a specific question. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get in here. I'm so excited. So excited. Not even going to lie. Let's go ahead and move this. <clears throat> Spirit, come through. What is the energy that they need to be aware of? I heard for the next seven days. So this could be for the next week ahead um, to be prepared for. We have got the Eight of Cups. Okay. Something's moving out. Um, moving out moving away all right um i feel like there's definitely we've got some change coming on here okay <laughs> moving on out um for some of you i feel like you are going through it, it looks like you're going through your attic <clears throat> attic or some kind of enclosed space um so look you may be hiding christmas presents or trying to make room for something in this time you're making room okay i see it um, that's definitely something that you're focusing on in this time. I feel like you're also finding old things. I'm, I'm getting crumpled up pieces of paper. Um, I feel like some of you are going to, it's like I'm seeing somebody open up, um, an, an old note maybe, or an old crumpled piece of paper. I feel like nostalgia. All right. I feel like there's somebody who is, it's either tripping over or coming across something from a long time ago. Okay, I feel like you're trying to find where you're going, what you're doing with this or what you need to do with it. I feel like it's like stirring up nostalgic feelings, but it's just like you're compartmentalizing, okay? I'm, I'm, I feel like you're getting very organized with your thoughts. You're organizing past events, okay? There's something that you might not have been settled with in the past, so you might have just thrown something, tossed it to the side in a, in a room that you don't go in. Um, I feel like you are going back over it in this time, all right? And I feel like you're organizing it. When I say organizing, I don't feel like you're like literally putting this note. It's like I'm seeing you throwing it out. It's like you're reading it. It could possibly be a note from an ex. Like, I don't even feel like it was the last ex. It could have been like exes ago. You know what I'm saying? We've got four of cups here. All right. <clears throat> I feel like there was like a back and forth energy that you might have held, um, might have been holding a door open for someone um, from your past. I feel like you're moving on in this time. Um, I'm seeing you like literally becoming like you're becoming bored with something that you thought was going to be long standing or this is this is either you or somebody close to you is finding this um, piece of paper, going over it and realizing that. You know, it's okay to feel certain feelings, but you're putting them to the side, like throwing them to in the waste bin, th like categorizing something for what it truly is. Okay. Um, it's like, I feel like somebody's seeing, it's like going, I, I'm, I'm seeing somebody see something from the past, whether this is actually a note or a crumpled like picture. Um, I feel like you're feeling the feelings and then you're moving on from them. You, you're no, you're knowing what it was that you were feeling in the moment and that's cool, but you've evolved. Um, I'm also getting elevated, okay? I feel like you are dropping off some kind of emotional baggage that's kind of been weighing on you for quite some time. Um, I feel like you're also moving into a new era, all right? Um, like, literally, you're switching hats. Look, that's his hat. Switching hats in this time. You're throwing out what no longer serves you and moving on to something different. I feel like you are... Um, you're out of this energy of why do I even still, why am I brewing over this? Okay. I feel like there's an energy of you might have possibly been, um, keep thinking about a certain event coming back around. I feel like you're completely tossing that out the window in this time. You're letting it go. Um, you are getting something new. I feel like you're also up, upgrading your wardrobe again. Are you doing that again, y'all? Okay. You're changing shit up again. 
All right. You're, you're tossing out old hats. Look, I heard some old uh, old underwear. Some of y'all are tossing out, like, literally. Um, old, look, old used underwear, okay? You're wearing something new. <laughs> um, you are unboxing things as well in this time, but I feel like it's more so, like, you're wanting to find things that make you happy. I'm getting different shades. You're... <laughs> Why are we going there? We're not going there. Fifty Shades Gray. Okay, I feel like you are, um, you're looking into different, like you are changing things up in this time. I feel like you're putting things together that um, usually you wouldn't be cool with or you wouldn't want to pair something like this together. For some of you, I feel like you're pairing yourself with different people. Okay. Um, and you're realizing it just works. There's something about that as well. Um, I'm also getting with the tossing out the old and in out with the old and in with the new is really with the energy that you're in, in this time. I feel like you're making new friends. You're out talking to different people that you might have not, um, been comfortable with in the past. Okay. Um, or just, they may be new to you. It's something that you like, you're getting out of your comfort zone in regards to relationships in this time. Um, you're letting go of any kind of old programming. Mm, okay. That's the energy for the day. You're letting go of old programming. You're reprogramming yourself, y'all. That's the energy you're in, in this time. I heard, and I like it like that. So I feel like you're, you're, <clears throat> you're opening your perspective, your mind to a new way of being, thinking, and seeing, seeing things differently, okay? I feel like anything that would have made you feel small at one point in time, you've literally dropped all that. You don't care anymore. I feel like you're also realizing there's certain partnerships that you've moved from that you don't care for these people or to have what they have or live the type of lifestyle they live. So why did, how do they have the ability to make you feel a certain type of way about yourself? Okay, I'm seeing that as well. Like, I feel like you're literally in that energy of how did I let this person make me feel that way? Like, a glass, instead of a glass being half full, that would always make you think that yours was half empty. There was something that you were having to live up to, even though you might have possibly been in the same playing field that they were. Just different perspe perspectives. You're starting to see all of the different perspectives. Your mind is opening on a whole different level, okay? You're seeing things completely, like, brand new. You're putting, um, <clears throat> for some of you, I feel like you're switching out your friends, I really feel like you're switching out your friends in this time. People who you were all about at one point in time, you're seeing them for what they are or for who they are. And you're realizing that it doesn't serve you anymore in the energy that you're moving into. You don't have time and you don't have room for it. Okay. I've also pulled out the hanged man, four of coins and two of swords, which you need to be aware of in this time. Look, the hanged man. Five of coins and two of swords. Whenever I saw the hanged man, that's Ka or Ka from uh, Mowgli. But it's like the way that I'm seeing that is somebody is literally got their eyes on, I heard eye on the prize, but I feel like they've got their eyes on you and what you can do for them. Okay. Um, that's that's something that you're moving away from. I feel like you might have are in the process of moving away from certain people who kept their eyes on your money, your finances, or what it was that you could do for them. Okay. I feel like these are people who are also mentally stuck. It feels like <laughs> ain't going nowhere and they ain't going nowhere very fast. Like people who are wanting you to get yourself into a rut <clears throat> so you can't move forward. Okay. Mentally stuck. I feel like these are mentally stuck people that you're also moving away from. All right. They were wanting you to do something for them that they can't do for themselves. I'm getting, I heard money hungry. There was somebody who was money hungry. Okay. I feel like they were also trying to, I feel like there's this energy of somebody, like the way that I'm seeing his eyes. <clears throat> Where's my wand at? See. The way I'm seeing his eyes, it's like he's trying to coax you into doing a certain thing, walking a certain way, going a certain direction. 
All right. Um, I feel like there was somebody who was trying to get you to go in a certain, like a dead end direction. There was somebody who was trying to paint an illusion to my, brainwash your ass, mind control you, and get you stuck in the fucking matrix. Wanted you to be walking around in a circle blindly. Somebody was trying to get you to blindly walk around in a circle to do something that they wanted you to do. Not something that was good for you, something that they wanted you to do. Okay. I get that there's this energy of you waking up out of a daze in this time. Okay. There's something that's happening right now that's snapping you out of a daze. Like I also feel like this is an awakening that's happening for you. That's allowing you to, and I feel like, I really feel like it's because you found something. This is like a buried treasure, an open buried treasure. But I feel like there's something that you're finding in this time that is allowing you to really open your eyes, to, to wake up, to snap out of it. I'm getting snap out of it energy. Something's happening in this time that's forcing you to snap out of just following the leader. Okay. All right. With that four of coins, like I also get this energy of you need to be holding on to your money in this time. All right. I feel like, okay, I just got a message come in for like, okay, with this, this coins, this matrix, somebody trying to get you to, you know, daze you to keep you in a daze or under mind control. I feel like this has something to do with the holidays. Not even gonna lie. There's somebody that's trying to keep you in a daze in regards to the holidays or the way that certain things are supposed to be or the way that they want you to see them, perceive them, and do things. There's somebody that is trying to possibly get over on you financially, um, it's like I feel like you may have certain things, but there's someone who is trying to get you to feel obligated to do a certain thing or to hand out a certain amount, okay, of money or finances or to overextend yourself in some way in this time, okay? I heard, it's fine, it's fine, you're fine, you've got this, <laughs> but it doesn't feel like it's necessarily in a positive way. Um, there's somebody who is trying, like, it's somebody who is, like, hanging around watching you. Like, I'm seeing somebody looking through the window. It's somebody who has, like, been window shopping in your car or in your, like, looking at the things that you have or how you're living your life or something of that nature. Um, <clears throat> they're wanting to brainwash you or mind control you to make you feel like you need to buy certain things, do certain things, or be seen a certain way. Um, I feel like Spirit's trying to come in and tell you to chill. You don't have to do everything j just because you're being told that you do. I feel like you need to be making certain decisions for you and not because you're like literally <clears throat> going through the motions. That's really what I'm getting. I feel like there's this energy of somebody trying to keep you going through the motions. I feel like you're snapping out of it in this time. You're having an awakening or seeing where things are going. Okay, I'm also getting this energy of instead of giving... <clears throat> The, uh, the amount that somebody's asking you for to only give half, all right? Um, like with that four of coins, two of coins, I've, uh, corns, <laughs> this person may have corns or you may be noticing um, something's getting a little tight in this time, okay? Some of you um, do need to be focusing on um, cutting back a little bit in this time. I feel like you may possibly put yourself in a situation where you may overextend yourself, all right? I feel like there's something about only giving what you have and not overextending yourself, giving more than what you need to be giving as well in this time, okay? It's it's great to give, but I feel like there's somebody who's trying to force you to feel some type of way to give out of... <clears throat> it kind of feels like there's somebody who's in your pockets trying to give out of your pockets instead of you giving out of your pockets. Somebody's trying to um, mentally manipulate you in this time to overgive. Okay, you just really need to be mindful in this time that there is someone who is trying to get you to possibly overgive or overshare. You need to stay on top of your finances in this time because I also feel like there's something that um, is going to come up or may possibly appear in like not like possibly in the next two weeks, if not a week's time um, that you're going to need to make sure you've got some kind of reserves for. So I feel like you need to be when I say two weeks time, where are we at? 
Okay, I feel like it could ha have something to do with Christmas. I feel like it's the holidays, though. I feel like Spirit's saying to hold back. Don't give your, don't give everything in a certain situation because there's something that you're not quite seeing um, that could end up having you a little bit stuck here in the future if you don't do, don't let somebody else give from your pockets is really what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what's going on in regards to love. What do they need to know in regards to love? Mm -hmm. We got the page of wands that came out with the magician, y'all. Ooh, I, I'm getting the energy of a love spell. Okay. Um, I feel like that's that's really the energy of like love. Okay. Underneath that, we've got justice, what's not seen. All right. This could also be a Libra. We've got I'm I'm getting air signs, definitely. All right. Um, I feel like there is somebody who has had their eye on you for quite some time, okay? I feel like this person's about to come through and make it known. Um, I feel like there's going to be some kind of communication going on to where <laughs> I heard a slide of hands, okay? I feel like there's somebody who is trying to... I feel like they know that they're in competition with someone else. I feel like they're going to either... They're either going to say something about it. <laughs> um, I feel like they're going to make it very clear... I heard it's my way or the highway. I feel like they may get very, um, be very direct with what they, what they want from you. Okay. I feel like there may be some kind of a tower moment that goes on with this situation. All right. There's, there's going to be a, there's going to be a conversation that comes out, um, between you and someone who is definitely interested in you and they're going to lay all their cards out on the table. All right. Um, I feel like you may possibly be trying to make a decision between them and someone else as well in this time. Um, I feel like you're literally going to be forced to make a decision in this time uh, in in regards to love. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's someone who is trying to manipulate things behind the scenes, but I feel like um, somebody's fed up with it. All right. I'm definitely seeing that here. I'm also getting this energy of there's somebody who is going to literally profess their love to you here in the next little while, okay? I feel like they feel like they might possibly be obsessed with you. There's somebody who thinks you might have literally put a root on them, like a root on them. Like, I feel like there's somebody who's like, have you done something to me? They may literally come to you and say that, all right? Um, I feel like this person thinks about you constantly. Like you're, I heard you say on my own mind all the time. Like I feel like this person is literally, um, they can be doing something very strenuous or like something that they've got to really exert all of their energy into and stay very focused and very balanced. I feel like this person usually does a very good job on staying balanced, but they're realizing in this time that they can't. They can't be balanced or they can't stay focused on task. Um, like, it's almost like you keep appearing. Like, I feel like you literally keep, I keep hearing running through my mind all the time. So this person feels like they're literally going crazy and that you've done something to them for them to constantly be thinking about you this, like, as, as much as they are thinking about you. They're going to say something about that or to that effect. Um, here in the next little while. All right. They're literally going to lay it all out there. Okay. I feel like this is also someone who may be very possessive. All right. I feel like they're like, but it doesn't really feel bad, but it feels like this person may be possessive over you. They're going to, in some way, say this to you um, and let you know what they want. I definitely feel like somebody's wanting a relationship in this time. This could be a Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. All right, I definitely feel like there's going to be some words. There's going to be something spoken about it. There's going to be a full-blown conversation that takes place, okay? Um, I, I'm also getting like a, um, is it doc, Dr. Jekyll and Hyde or something? Like, I feel like this person may possibly portray to you one thing. Oh, it could be a Gemini. Um, I, they could portray to you one way, act like, you know, they like you, but they're not like obsessed, but literally behind the scenes this person is constant like they're obsessed they've been trying to put on a mask or put on a show i'm a masquerade i feel like this person's literally um <laughs> they've been trying to um act like they weren't obsessed with you but oh, like, i'm getting oh my god i can't say this on youtube all right mm -hmm. we'll, we'll elaborate on the love partnership and relationship on patreon because I, I can't go there. But I'm definitely seeing that you are going to have a conversation take place where this person literally puts their all their cards on the table um, and wants to know how you feel about them. 
They ain't letting you go. Even if you aren't interested in this person, this person's going to try to find a way to keep you. So just be mindful. Like they're going to pull out all the stops. I definitely see that here. But they're going to have a conversation to see what it is that you actually want um, and try to find a way that they can meet those needs. All right. They're, they're going to do their best to meet those needs. Um, even if they're having to consult. Look, I'm getting spiritual guides or consult. I feel like this person is also somebody who, um, they have gifts as well. Not even gonna lie. I'm seeing this as somebody who has gifts. They're a very balanced person. All right. They may possibly, I'm not going to say they're a full blown medium, but they definitely have spiritual assistance. Okay. I feel like this could possibly be someone who manifests things and doesn't even mean to. All right. Um, just, just know. All right. Um, if you've been having any kind of dreams about this person, listen to those dreams because your guides are telling you, all right, that, like there's a lot of communication here. There's a lot of things that are going to be um, coming about and being brought to the surface in regards to a love partnership and relationship, all right? All the cards are going to be put on the table and it feels like this week, okay? Um, yeah, <clears throat> we're going to pull a few of my cards. To see where this fits in. What do they need to know in this time or be aware of? Besides that somebody wants you. Wants you, wants you. <laughs> okay. We'll go with, that's too many. Okay. We've got put you first. Came out. We've got spell work. What I say? Obsession. Okay. <laughs> one more. I say one. Okay. And then playing with fire. So that's definitely spell work. Anyways, um, we'll elaborate on those in the Patreon. Um, if this is where we part ways, love you guys so much. Don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you guys later. For everyone following us over there onto Patreon, that link will be in the description box below. Bye.